the Millionaire Imprint for Women. This new radio show is about imprinting wealth for women, inspiring women of all ages to heal their karmic debts, to transcend the shame of poverty consciousness that women have lived with for centuries. It's time for women, for you, to have a new relationship with money, to radiate wealth from the inside out. We are creating a ripple effect, empowering millions of women to claim their inner wealth. Join Cornelia on The Cornelia Stephanie Show at Transformation Talk Radio. Are you in? Oh, yeah. I love listening to that intro. Every single time when I hear that intro, I'm always like, yes, I'm in. And I hope that you are, too. It's wonderful to have you on The Cornelia Stephanie Show today. Let's talk about money. Is 2020, is 2020 going to be your $100,000 year? And what will you do with $8,333 per month? I predict that 2020 is going to be the best year of your life because of the choices that you make today. According to research, Women entrepreneurs are starting businesses twice as fast as men. The stakes for women are high. Being seen, being heard, and marketing their businesses is central to their success in the new world. Yet many women entrepreneurs struggle with asking for what they need, which includes selling their products or service. In a Harvard Business Review, businesses with receipts less than $100,000 per year, they are less likely to fail. And this show today is about not letting this happen to you. That's why I invited my guest, my friend, and my colleague, Susan Axelrod, to have this very important conversation here today. Susan has 30 years of working experience with individuals who care about the world. Susan is an intuitive strategist. She helps people feel good about themselves and create purposeful connections in areas of deep abiding interest. Susan helps clients get conscious, get clear and confident to live in purpose and legacy fulfilled. Susan's brand includes enthusiasm, magician, a transformer, and a nurturer voice, a champion of people. Above all, authenticity is her hallmark. Using these brand attributes allows her to work easily and quickly to help clients on the path to the greatest success. Susan Axelrod helps people connect to that place of personal, deep yearning to live a calm and best life. Straight talking she is and no no nonsense. Her intuition and quick wit have been helping people to get, get it on with her in her coaching work for years. Now using her own life experience, her own trials and successes, she weaves calm and joy into her written works, motivational speaking, presentations and coaching and she will get you laughing, the best balm for your soul. After you get your soul connected and acknowledge you're wanting to make an impact in this life, she will inspire you to give back, give more, and give now. Philanthropy, love of humankind, is her tool. She encourages others to reflect, find their own personal passion space, and then commit to taking action now. Welcome to the Millionaire Imprint for Women, Susan Axelrod. Cornelia, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am touched. I am elated, excited, and looking forward to this discussion today with you. Me too. And I wanted, I just want to say something else about you. This is my own personal knowing about you because I've known you for a short amount of time and I have absolutely fallen 100% in love with you (laughs) in in, not not in 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 a in a I get it I feel the same 
but I absolutely 100% love you. And what I love about Susan, what I love about you, Susan, is that you appear in your authenticity to be fearless. That's, that's what you show me, what you mirror to me. That's how I see you. And what I mean by that is that I see you taking fearless action to be authentic to your vision and to be authentic to your dreams and your uh, vision and your work in the world and what it is that you teach. I see you do that because I also know as a coach myself, as a master coach myself, I know that we come up against our own limiting beliefs during the time when we take big risks and when we take big action, we have to, we come up against our own limitations. But I see you moving beyond those limitations at the speed of light. And I see you being on the leading edge of being out there in the world, teaching, leading women and men, and um, showing what's possible when we play full out. That's what I see you do, Susan. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much. You know, Cornelia, one of the reasons that we love each other is that we have, you know, in our connection, we allow each other to be who we are. You know, the biggest obstacle that most women and people, but most women face is that facade. And I have watched you. It's funny. I'm, 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 I'm surprised at what you're saying about me and deeply grateful. I feel, you know, I have watched you and I see, I honestly, my eyes are closed for our radio listeners. My hands are open. My heart is open because I see what it is that you're doing to help women break through this facade that, that created, that, you know, came up and was created around us. So this, uh, it is an authentic language that we speak with each other. I want to let you know, too, in that vein, I feel emotional at what you're saying. My soul is coming up. But let's get to this conversation today because I've been learning from you. We need to talk about money, Cornelia. And thank you for being the one to bring it to the conversation. Well, I'm so glad that I invited you to come on because like right now, especially it's crucial because, you know, 2020 is literally right around the corner. And this is our time right now to lay down our foundations on what it is that we truly want and desire and how we want to live our lives. And so that means we really have to raise the bar and up the game. And when I created the Millionaire Imprint for Women, it's interesting because the structure that I laid down for the Millionaire Imprint for Women is the same structure, the $100,000 structure to $8,333 per month is yep. the same structure that I created for the Millionaire Imprint for Women because I'm a millionaire in creation right? And I knew that me creating the Millionaire Imprint for Women was going to, because I wanted to show my authentic path while at the same time, you know, collaborate with other women, which is the, the new way of the future, because we're not in competition with each other. We are here to collaborate and show what it looks like when, 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 when women gather and when we support each other and when we put, you know, our money where our mouth is, because when women have money and when we're educated, Educated, when we're smart with what, what it is that we're doing now, then we can really truly uh, create greater impact. And you have a key piece in your bio, and that's one of mine as well, and that is to be a philanthropist so that we can give more, that we can impact greater, and that's also part of my mission. Mm. So the, 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 the amount that you, you know, for the $100,000 a year, $8,333 per month, what would you do with $83,333 per month? Because that's the structure for the millionaire imprint. And that is actually my blueprint that I set up. And I, to me, it doesn't matter how long it takes for me to 
uh, manifest that and make that a reality. But that is my blueprint. And so, yes. oh, right? Right? Yes. I will tell you a few things. Number one, there's a spiritual belief that when you give, you receive many fold exponentially when you give your time and also when you give your money i have been the personal recipient of this i give freely i watch it uh in you too i know you role model this as well i give freely so much in my work i give philanthropic contributions and then i see you know i get a new client you know so there's a spiritual belief that if you, when you give, you receive exponentially. Number two, um, you know, whether you take away a zero or add that zero, the goal is to understand this structural breakdown. We're going to get to that a little bit later. Um, but Cornelia, I love what you say about the, you know, you're on the path to $83,333 a month. We'll talk about what that is. And, um, you know, the real, the only thing that matters is the secret. I'm going to give it now in case somebody has to go. What are you going to do with that money that you have? That's the secret. We're going to talk about that. Yeah. And that's going to be so great because of the greater, the great impact that we can have, because we've learned as spiritual beings that we really don't need a lot. It's not about having so much and it's not about consuming. It's about sharing the wealth and, and it's about supporting other people. It's about what you said, the giving piece. But before we go, Susan, to listen to your money story, because that's what I want to ask you in segment two. And ladies, I really encourage you to, you know, make this time right now. Stay with us and absolutely stay, stay involved in this conversation with us. We'd love to hear from you. So, but what I want to share is this is part of what we've had to overcome. And this is the story of one of my clients. She wrote this to me and she, you know, when I was working with her on money coaching, this is what she told me that she had to overcome. And so I'm going to share this and then we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to listen to your money story. And that's, um, but this I think is a really important piece for you, the ladies that are out there that are listening to this. And when you listen to this, maybe you can identify uh, this is also part of your story because we've all had stories that we've had to overcome from the past and we are not our story. We are so much greater than where we came from. And so this is what one of my clients says to me. My father took my mom's house from her. He got her car repossessed when she was pregnant with me. Her first husband had left her enough money to pay off her house and she bought a new car and had extra money left over for a cushion. When she married my dad, he made her sell the house. He used the money for himself, buying a truck for himself, and he would leave her for days and weeks at a time with no money, no food, and no resources. One month before I was born, she was foodless and moneyless and had to borrow money from my older sister to be able to survive. All of that energy being absorbed by me in utero. And that is the opposite of what it is that we are manifesting today. The storylines from the past. And now we're going to take a break and we're going to be right back on the Cornelia Stephanie show. And we're going to listen to Susan Axelrod's money story. We'll be right back. Are you an entrepreneur who's struggling to be seen? Do you know deep in your gut that if you could just be seen and get your message out, that you'd easily reach your tribe? How wonderful would it be if a fairy godmother came along waved her magic wand, and suddenly you were more than visible. You were dazzling. Would you sign up for that? Hi, I'm Deborah Lupien, spiritual teacher and international best-selling author of Akasha Unleashed, The Missing Manual to You. I'm here with the wonderful news that such a person actually exists. Her name is Cornelia Stephanie, and she's gifted at helping entrepreneurs become dazzling. 
I've watched her work her magic over and over to turn invisible entrepreneurs into dazzling stars who easily attract their ideal clients and have fun doing it. Not long ago, I was the recipient of her gift. As a guest on her show, Living Heaven on Earth, not only did we have fun, but Cornelia helped me get my message out to a wider audience, which resulted in a very nice spike of traffic to my website and more subscribers to my list. Did I mention it was incredibly easy? Cornelia's running a veritable media empire of uplifting programs. They cover a broad range of topics and have a large appreciative audience. That's a winning combination, folks. Guess what? Those shows need guests and hosts. Imagine, after guesting on a few shows, moving up to hosting your own popular show? That is absolutely possible for you. So now you have a decision to make. Are you going to keep struggling on your own? Or are you going to sign up for some Cornelia Stephanie dazzling visibility magic? Email radio at corneliastephanie.com today. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to The Cornelia Stephanie Show, and we're talking with Susan Axelrod. Susan, before we went to break, what did you think of that amazing story that I shared with you about one of my clients? I don't know what to think, Cornelia. My heart broke right in half. I, I mean, I, I just, all I did was in that moment, I was listening to you. I just tried to breathe and send love to, you know, that person, those people, and my heart just breaks. That's why I'm here with you today. <laughs> That's it. And so I want to hear about your money story because I know that there's so many of us that had to overcome our own inner uh, financials, right? With our conditioning that we were born into. And I want to hear about, about your, uh, your story. Tell us about Yeah. That. Okay. So thank you. Um, I just want to thank everyone who is listening to this show today this is important stuff. Thank you for being here. I want to ask you right now to please share this show. We need women to hear these messages. So my story is unusual. I grew up in privilege. I'm not talking about uber wealthy, you know, privilege. I didn't even know that I grew up in, in privilege because it was just my life. But when I met my husband, we were in college then, you know, my then boyfriend, and he grew up in a different way, you know, um, in, in, in a life that wasn't quite the same as as mine. My father was a high level executive, um, global executive, and his was not. And so, because we met when we were nineteen years old, um, very in you know formative years, I um, suppressed my personal you know upbringing story. Um, money was not talked about in my family. Thank God we were so lucky that it was not. Um, I guess there was not lack, and so it wasn't paid attention to. But what happened to me as I merged, you know, my husband and I met when we were 19, we're not 19 today, as I merged together with my husband over five years of our developing relationship and the early years of our marriage, I took on, not because of my husband, I'm not saying that, but I just took on, I formulated what I now know to be scarcity consciousness in the contrast of our financial stories and our financial lives and the you know weaving together of that and i developed this fear about spending money um you know my husband was getting a phd i worked in the nonprofit uh, sector so we did not have a lot of money ourselves um and so i just began to evolve in those early years of my life with this scarcity consciousness as I came to understand it. And I had a fear. I now know it to be a fear. Then I just thought I was being smart or conservative or there, were, there was a reluctance. But I developed this fear around spending money and, you know, or spending money that I didn't have. Um, some many years ago now, 25 years ago, um, 20 or more years ago, um, I was introduced to prosperity consciousness, the idea of prosperity consciousness. And so I began to focus doing exactly what you're doing here, Cornelia. I want our listeners to understand. I've, I listened to your show. I've heard you say, 
we must talk about money. We yeah. must think about money. We must take responsibility for our financial lives. That is how we grow our financial well-being. And so I had my own journey of coming from scarcity consciousness into prosperity consciousness, but I still hit up against blocks because there was more breakthrough to be had. I want our listeners to understand. I want them to understand what I'm about to say. The breakthrough was to abundance mindset. So prosperity consciousness in the way I practice it, in the way I teach it and share it is about financial health and well-being. It's about knowing your numbers. It's about being responsible in the way that Cornelia is teaching us to be to your numbers. But you will still be in lack and scarcity if you don't develop an abundance mindset. What is that? What Cornelia just said. Here's the perfect example. Please listen. Please share. When Cornelia just told us there is no competition, that is the ultimate in abundance mindset. Cornelia and I, we don't compete with each other. There is enough. There is enough. There is enough. And Cornelia, that is the evolution of my money story that um, allows me to authentically be able to have this conversation today. And um, I practice what I preach. And we're going to share a tool about that later. But that is the evolution of my money story. Wow, it's a beautiful story. I had no idea that you that you were uh, brought up in well to do, you know, in a well to do uh, uh, upbringing, and that um, that you you weren't like my story was completely I different know. because I've been in poverty. I know. I've heard, I've heard you share it. You know, so it's it's really um, it's really amazing to be able to again choose what it is that you really want to live and realize that we live in an abundant universe and we absolutely it's our divine birthright to experience the abundance that's there for us so that we can make a better build a better world and i you know the your uh slogan of build your legacy leave your legacy which i absolutely love and it's done with each and every choice we make each and every day right yes that's exactly right and that's exactly what i teach you know yes every single person can have a legacy you don't have to be rich you have to want to and every choice you make and that's why we're talking about money today <clears throat> one of the things i didn't say earlier was that the evolution of having more money allows you to invest money in yourself, your business, your growth. And so, yes, that's exactly right. Every choice you make is what leads you to leave a legacy. Yes, and it's crucial right now. It's crucial that we choose, especially as women, when, when I opened up, I talked about that the stakes for women are high. There's still so many women that go to bed in the middle of the night when they go to bed and they wake up and, you know, and they are, you know, consumed by debt and they're worried about not, not having their financial life together because they're still giving their power away and, um, you know, to, you know, their spouses or whatever. And there, there's the elephant in the room and we're not talking about money. And that's why we want to make sure that we talk about money, that we love and adore money and the freedom that money can give us that, 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 uh, the lifestyle that it can give us, but also the impact that we can have in helping and giving and supporting. Cor Cornelia, I just want to say this radio show, the millionaire imprint for women offers you listeners the opportunity to bring it forth, bring it forth, bring it forth, bring it forth, keep it in front of you. So if you can stay tuned into this show, you have a, a built in opportunity for it to be in front of you, for it to be affirmed for you. And, you know, to, to help listen to Cornelia's words. I did. <laughs> I listened to the show to help to understand the words of how it can lift you up and support you in the way that you are looking to be supported.
Yes. And you know, when, when the millionaire imprint for women was born, it was my higher self that guided me to, to, to go ahead and, and, and set this up. And, uh, the, the hashtag was hashtag millionaire me too. Mm. And it was that it was part of, uh, because it was all part of my soul's path. It was all part of my, the work and then collaborating with other women to educate and support everyone in order to you know create the empires that that we want to create and live but we have to be able to not have any shame in our game <laughs> we can't we can't feel bad about our money or we can't feel bad about our stories or where we came from we have to really bring it all into the light and talking about it you know from the place that you and I are talking about it today and like you said earlier Everyone, we encourage all the listeners today to share this show. Share this show with your friends and with your family and people on your social media. And everyone that shares the show, Susan has a gift and I also have a, have a gift. What's your gift, Susan? So my gift is so fun. It is a download PDF of, of prosperity consciousness affirmations financial freedom can be yours yes it can so i will be sharing with you 12 affirmations one a month for you to implement your new abundant mindset and prosperity consciousness so that's when you share the story you get that you get that gift from susan and you'll get from me feeling your way into wholeness uh, also, shifting and changing your relationship with your abundance, with money, changing your feelings, changing your beliefs, changing, uh, you know, how you feel about money. And that is also available to you. So it's a free ebook that I wrote back in 2012 when I changed my own money story. And I will make that available for free for anyone that that is willing to share this on social media with everyone. Comment and like and share on our YouTube, on the YouTube channel. Let us know what you liked about this. And 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 you know, engage with us, talk with us because we really want to hear from you. So Susan, let's take a break. And when we come back, we'll we'll go further into you know breaking it down, making it practical, making it real. We'll be right back on the Cornelia Stephanie show. Hello, my name is Charlene Hess, and I want to share with you my wonderful experience of choosing to use Cornelia Stephanie as my life coach. My life is so different now from where it was when I began working with her in 2011. At that time, I was in a dysfunctional marriage. I had my own business. I was raising two children and completely dead inside. After working with Cornelia, I began to gain confidence. I began to learn and understand how to use my emotions in my life. I learned how to process the emotions that were stored in my body, the ones that I thought that I had already worked through in my 12 years of counseling prior to working with her. The process that she had taken me through of using my emotions to heal my life, to use my anger to find peace was absolutely incredible. I have been working with her one-on-one uh, -on -one for many years now. And even though I am in a place now where I am thriving in my life, I still refer to Cornelia as my coach and I still work with her on an ongoing basis where we're always checking in and keeping me accountable in my growth. After working with her for many years, I decided to go through her wholeness certification coach, uh, coaching program, and it has absolutely been an amazing process. I now am a certified empowerment coach and I got certified through her program and I am taking clients and helping them to find the empowerment in their lives. One of the things that I love about Cornelia is that she taught me that I am the authority in my own life. And that was a really difficult experience to go through because it was really fighting against all of the dogma and programming that was so ingrained in my brain that all of the authority is outside of me. But as I began to understand and believe and adopt and know the truth that I am the authority in my life is when everything in my life started to shift and change. I became responsible for my decisions. I became responsible for creating a life that I love. And now I'm here in this amazing, beautiful place, living a life of so much happiness and joy. And no matter what life throws at me, I have the tools to be able to 
approach everything from a place of empowerment. And now I have the ability to help other people do the same. So working with Cornelia has absolutely been the best decision that I've ever made in my life. It has taken me from a life of absolute misery and given me the tools to be able to have a life of absolute complete joy. So I cannot recommend working with her enough. I hope that you decide to choose to have her as your coach. Go through her empowerment coaching program, go through her wholeness certification, and I guarantee you won't regret it. Welcome back. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, and I'm talking with my guest, Susan Axelrod, and we're talking about what would you do with $8,333 and 33 cents, I think it is, per month. What would you do with it? This is what you're gonna tell us right now. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so this is the most fun thing. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna invite our listeners to take a breath, take a breath, stretch your body up, open up so you can really hear. So all together we can receive. We can receive the abundance of our being here today, sharing this on the radio with you. $100,000 a year. For some people, that's not a lot of money. For others, that's a lot of money. And so we're walking a line here. At, you need to decide for yourself where you are, okay? Our job, my job here today is to help you create a structure in your mind to understand how you do this. So add a zero or take away a zero, but the, the job right now as you breathe and imagine your prosperous abundance is to understand what we're talking about. So $8,333 a month equals $100,000 a year, okay? That's what that number is. If you earn, well, before taxes, of course, if you earn $100,000 a year, then every month you're getting, before taxes, $8,333. So that's the place where I want your mind to fall, to land softly and be cushioned to understand what that number is. You can work however many hours you want to for that number, or if you elevate, 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 you can work few hours for that number. But that's what we're talking about here. Okay, what is the work? What is the income that you generate? How do you generate it to get to that number consistently every month for 2020 to be your $100,000 year? So I want to ask you, listener, are you with us? Do you understand what we're talking about? This is vitally important. And I learned this listening to Frederick Lehrman. In 1999, I think it was, he created a CD set called Prosperity Consciousness, and he was my mentor in this. I can't tell you how many times I listened to this long, complicated CD set. So, but I, my work is to make it simple, to break it down so that you can understand really how it is you can get that. So what is the work that you can do? We have another tool we're going to be talking about when Cornelia gives me the green light on that. But for right now, it's $8,333 a month before taxes. And what is it that you are going to do to generate that money? Now, let's just talk about the millionaire imprint for a second. $80,000. $333.33 a month. You want to be a millionaire? Do you? Most people are like, yeah, I want to be a millionaire, right? They wish they were a millionaire. They think about being a millionaire. They watch shows about becoming millionaires, but they don't understand what that means. Yeah. So we are here today sharing the imprint with you. That means that you earned or generated $83,333 a month. So my question for you right now is, what do you think when you think about $83,000 a month, every month? What do you think about that? I learned to understand that that's finance, not cash. Once you elevate into the $83,000 a month category, you're in the world of finances. 
So you might want to learn a little bit about investing. But here's what I just said to Cornelia in the break, and this is what I want to say to you. What would you be doing with that? Most people have no idea at all. They just, I'm making air quotes, want to be a millionaire. That's it. But I want to tell you that if you don't know what you would be doing with $80,000 every month, every year, it's not going to find you. Now, probably, you probably can figure out what you would be doing with $8,300 you know, $8, a month, right? You have your rent or your mortgage, you have your food bills, you have your daycare bills, you have you know, expenses for your business, you, know, you have braces to pay for. There's a lot of things that you can pay for with $8,333 a month. Okay, but we're also want to encourage and infuse, and that's why we want you to share this so we can grow out this idea. Yes, women can be millionaires. And as you think about being a millionaire, what would you do? For example, I have a dream which I've already begun implementing, I'm not waiting for anything. I have my own philanthropic dream to give away more money. A lot of people know the reason I work and I charge my prices is so I can give money. So I'm crystal clear. You want to ask me, I'll tell you, I got it written down. Yeah. And that's what we want to encourage you. Create your own millionaire imprint. Yeah. So Cornelia, do you understand? Do you have any questions to help me clarify that? No, I totally understand. And I think it's really, you know, this it's important to know what would you do because there is there is a in, in the book Ask and It Is Given, I think Esther and Jerry Hicks, they ha they have you doing this exercise. And I've done this exercise back in the day when the book first came out of actually writing the checks, writing the checks, you know. And that's also my dream is to to give the money away. I'm and I'm already living that because I've got people all over the world that I'm engaged with that charities and organizations that I want to give to that I want to work with, you know, and so it's, 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 it's good to know what you would do with the money. But today we're talking about $8,333 per month. How do we make that real? How do we make that real Susan in 2020? Okay, here's the tool. So I want to invite you uh, to grab a piece of paper and a pen. And don't worry, this show is recorded and podcasted so Cornel on Cornelia's YouTube channel. So don't worry if you miss anything. Grab a paper and pen. We are in September. We are talking about the portal closing of 2019. A portal, an entire decade is closing and a new portal is opening. Your portal of prosperity, your portal of abundance, your portal of wealth. And so that's how we want to be thinking about this. But very simply, I want you to make on a piece of paper, this is my high tech stuff, Cornelia, I'm showing for the people who see us on Facebook, just write down my budget and make a circle that looks that's going to be look like a pie, it's going to be three or four inches in diameter. That's all and on the page, write my income. Now, what I, I implore you, please understand the benefit of having multiple sources of income. For women, please understand, if you have a job and you lose that job, you lose your income, right? But if we have multiple sources of income, a few or many if you want, then if one dips down a little bit, another can go up. If you lose one revenue source, you can have you have others. That is your security. That is your stability. Now, what are the multiple sources of income? Maybe um, each one is going to be a pie slice. So for some people, there may be here. I'm writing it down. A pie slice that's twenty five percent. One thing that you do might generate 25%, two, four, six, eight, about $2,000 a month, right? There may be multiple slices. For most people, they have a job, 
and it's 100% of the pie. We want to encourage you. Many people today have that side hustle going on, right? Multi-level marketing. They make crafts and sell crafts. They do dog walking as a wag walker, whatever it is. There may be a thin slice of your pie for that, right? It may be it may be like another thin slice of the pie where you're doing a side hustle or some extra gig to generate income, right? Maybe that's a few hundred dollars a month or 500 or whatever it is. This is your financial pie, your income pie, okay? This is your visual. It's simple. It is completely simple. So we want to encourage you to do this exercise. If you have one big fat pie, 100% coming from a career paycheck, good, I'm happy for you. But maybe you want to think about what is a way that I could create a little slice of additional income or many slices doing various things. So Cornelia, how did I do there? Did you get me on the income pie with the multiple sources of income? Yeah, I love that. I love that exercise. It's simple. It's easy to do. And you gave us a good visual of what it is that we need to create for ourselves if we want to, you know, follow this blueprint. So I and I really I really like that. I'm going to be using this tool in my Wealthy Roots uh, for Women's uh, call. I'll be sharing this with the women there because I think it's a wonderful way. It's a wonderful visual. So thank you for that. Now, did mm -hmm. I also, so that's one tool. And then the other tool is to write down what you would do with the money. So those two things, right? Right. Those, those two things I heard you say is write down what you would do with the money and uh, have the different sources of income, 25%, you know. Exactly. These are two takeaway folks two takeaways number one if you don't know what you would do with the money the money isn't coming to you so please know what you need be responsible because the other pie is the expense pie okay yeah so and the other the other takeaway sorry the other takeaway is the being responsible for the structure of your income yes yes i love that i love that so uh, we're going to skip the last break, Susan, okay. because I, I know that we just have, it's amazing how fast it goes by. I, I, I want to be able to cover everything we want to cover. Now, um, you are offering a course. Let's hear about that. Okay, so thank you. I'm sorry. I'm so excited about this. You know, enthusiasm is my hallmark. So, and this is such important stuff. So I am offering a course where I do talk about this. I work with women in the second half of life. My course, my radio show is called Discovering You Again Radio with Susan Axelrod. And my course is by the same name, Discovering You Again. And I am launching another version, another offering of the course. It's starting September 19th. And we start with the vision for how you want your life to be in 2020. And your financial life is part of your bigger life. The information can be found right at the um, bar at the top of my website. The easiest thing to do is find my website, whatwillyourlegacybe.com, and the announcement bar right at the top, you can click there. Yeah, that's wonderful. And everyone, even including our colleagues that are watching this show, Please share this information with your network. Please share this with your family and your friends. And uh, be sure to contact us. Now, uh, you can email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com to get the free ebook on how to change your relationship with money. And Susan, where can they access your free gift? My email is susan at confident-life.com, confident-life, because that's what I am. I am a confidence coach. But you can find me on Facebook under Susan Axelrod. I hang out there every day. I have a daily live at five Facebook show. You can find me there as well. Yeah, and Susan is on Transformation Talk Radio, so you can find her there. And so I'm just so thrilled that you came on with me today to have this very important conversation. Now so let's 
Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me, if, since we went, we skipped through the break, I was hurrying up. Would it be okay if I just um, take another minute or two on the tool? Of course. Okay, because we want this show to be the show. We want this to be your millionaire imprint hour. And we, that's why we want you to share this show, okay? So let me just see. I want to just review the tool one more time. You have your, your goal, your aspirational goal. You want to generate $100,000 a year. What does that mean to you? What that means to you is generating $8,333 a month gross. Okay? You have to pay your taxes, et cetera. That's what it means when you say, I want to make $100,000 a year. So now you know what you need to generate or earn every single month. So I ask you, how are you going to do that? One of the ways you do that is, first of all, you need to know what it is you're spending the money on. So you can make an expense pie the same way. I have, I have two of them. <laughs> one is for expense and one is for income. So you definitely need to know what you're spending money on against the money you're bringing in. But we're really focusing on generating income today, earning and generating, okay? So there's different ways that you can do this. And this is the thing that I really want you to understand. In my prosperity consciousness work, I first learned, then I applied, now I teach that there's many ways to generate income. You can walk people's dogs. You can help out your elderly neighbors. They have some money. They just need the help. There's all kinds of helping ways that you can generate extra income. You can examine your own gifts and skills. I call it your light. What light can you share and sell? Do you have something that you can create? Do you have something that other people need? Do you cook? Because if you cook and you're a really good cook, um, you can just have your friends understand, not generate a business, but have your friends understand that you'll cook for them and they can pay you a little something and they would be happy to get a home cooked meal, meal for their dinner, uh, for their family's dinner. So that's another little slice of your pie. And that's prosperity consciousness inside the abundance mindset of there is enough. People do have money to pay me a good value for my worth, for my service. And all you need to do is open your mind and get creative about different things you can do. So now let me ask you again, Cornelia, am I being clear? Are we, are we, are we good? Do you understand this? Oh yeah, I totally, I totally understand it. And definitely for the audience, if there's somebody that doesn't understand, or if you have questions, comment on the YouTube channel when, when you're listening to this later, comment and Susan and I will be happy to respond to any questions that you may have. We want to engage with you. So feel free to shoot us any questions, anything like that, that we can help you to solidify your vision even more because it is of our best interest. It's all of us. It, it, you know, that we're all thriving in our abundance. It's our nature. It's in our integrity to be so and do so. It does not, it doesn't do as well if we are in poverty and if we're poor. And so ladies, I'm asking you now, don't raise your children to become another poverty statistic. You know, raise them now to claim their inner millionaire, not to be consumers and to, you know, consume, but to really impact and give and come up with the solutions that are there that will impact our world. And that's yes, yes, yes. What Cornelia says, <laughs> Cornelia, there's one more thing. Do we, I don't know how much time we have, but I have one more thing. May I share okay, it? We've got time. We've got time. Okay. So everybody, I want to ask you to take another breath, open up. This is so important. This is so important. It's really, really important. Okay, take a breath. Okay. One of the things that I learned, a tool I teach it, I do it in all my work, is visualization. Visualization. 
please understand that when you, as you grow in your prosperity consciousness, you leave scarcity consciousness behind, you grow an abundant mindset. One of the things that can support you is seeing. I say, close your eyes and see first. Close your eyes. Of course, I teach open your eyes, but that's something else. But close your eyes and see in technicolor vision what it is that you will be doing. Cornelia just told us, we're not talking about money so you can consume. No, we're talking about money so that you can help yeah. give exactly so that you can be one of the people to take care of the others and, and you know, to support the, the ail, ailments of the world. That's why we're talking about money. And so visualize exactly what it feels like to have that money in your account to have multiple slices of your pie and to have your pie growing bigger and that's the expansion and that's the exponential growth and visualize what you would give to like cornelia just shared her dream with us i know it's already in progress and that is i give to support causes around the world that move me and so we cornelia and i we're not waiting. Yeah. When you learn the secret of already being in progress, you have $10 to give, give $10. You have $100 to give, give $100. My giving, I never imagined that I could elevate in my giving this way, except for the spiritual message. The more you give, the more abundance you receive. And so that's really the last thing. So we had the one was the structure, know what it is that we're talking about. What does even $100,000 a year mean? $8,300 a month. What are you going to do with that? Know what you're going to do with it. Number two, the pies, a very simple, low tech tool that you can use to show yourself in real time what it is that you're generating. And number three, visualization. Visualize what it is that you want to be doing with the money. Literally close your eyes and visualize. And then when you're ready to open your eyes, you will see more. Cornelia. I was going to say that the people that comment on the YouTube channel, on the Cornelia Stephanie YouTube, that comment on this show, yeah, that 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 write comments. We're going to pick a number from the comments that are going to come underneath, and somebody's going to win a hundred bucks, and somebody's going to win a hundred dollars. That's what we're going to do. So, are you in, Susan? I'm in. I'm in by half. That is all right. So now you now people listen up. Hundred dollars <laughs> a lot to you. If it's not, think again. And if it is, then please comment. Money flows freely to me. There it is. It's okay. just waiting for you to pick it up off the shelf. Susan, give us your website information again. Yes, my website is whatwillyourlegacybe.com. And right at the top of my home page is the announcement bar where you can click on the link to learn about my eight-week course discovering you again. I talk about all these tools and it's launching on um, September 19th. And you can also find me on Facebook under my name, Susan Axelrod. I'm there every day, hanging out, having a ball. I'm so glad that you are in the front lines and on this planet, um, sharing your enthusiasm, sharing your message and sharing your gifts with the world. It's an honor and a pleasure to be with you. I look forward to having you on the Millionaire Imprint for Women again. And thank you everyone for tuning in, for liking, for sharing and subscribing to the show. We'll see you all next time. Thanks everybody. Thanks so much for being part of Creating Wealth for All Women. Every Friday, you benefit from the experience of women who share their financial wisdom. This movement is not about accumulating wealth. It's about being paid doing what we love, being able to invest in the things women are passionate about. Our new collective story is women are powerful with money. Becoming financially literate is the key to your empowerment and financial freedom. For more information, go to CorneliaStephanie.com.